everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new welcome to my channel I hope you subscribe I do three to four videos a week in this video we are going to try this new L'Oreal nude uh, magic cushion uh, foundation now I've heard good things about this foundation now it's not full coverage what I prefer but I will try it today and see how it wears on my skin my skin kind of strange a little bit oily, a little bit dry, depends on the weather. <laughs> but we will try this foundation and see how it stays on my skin during the day. The strange thing about this foundation is when I was in the store to buy this one, the girl that worked over there, she told me that oh, it only existed in like four colors. I think it was two, three, four and eleven. Number eleven was the darkest foundation, but it was maybe two or three shades darker than my skin tone so I, I thought that was a little bit strange but and I told her that I didn't really like too light foundation or exactly as my skin tone because then I looked pale so she recommended this number four so we'll see how it works now I have my beauty blender ready if this sponge in here doesn't really work so I will prime my face with this one with this intransit intra camera close up the one primer that I got in my glossy box that really doesn't smell nice but I just want to finish so I do have my moisturizer on already so and if you can see I do have a little bit of breakouts let's open this and this is how it looks. It comes with a little mirror. And here's the sponge that you're supposed to apply your foundation with. And then you open this. Take off this one. And here is the foundation. So let's zoom you in a little bit. Now I will try to apply it with this one. So I just press it slightly and this is let's do this I have a little bit hard time to apply it to apply this foundation with this thing I don't know. Let's do one side and then do it with Beauty Blender the other side. I like the color of this foundation. I don't know guys. It feels light. medium coverage can you see any difference? now I will take my beauty blender just to see which one works better now I have more control with the beauty blender it's easier for me to hold this one a little bit shiny on my skin I don't know what I think about that I like more matte foundations but I was really curious to see how this works on my skin well I need another mirror to see but I think they apply the foundation almost the same, this sponge applicator that came with the foundation and my beauty blender, so I don't know really, this one is beauty blender is easy to control and hold, so this foundation is very good to travel with, so I don't I always have to think to take my beauty blender with me. 
Now it looks okay. It's a medium medium coverage. It looks okay, a little bit shiny. We will see how it looks when I put the rest of my makeup on. But it looks okay. It really looks okay. I will take my concealer now and powder and everything else. See you soon. So now my makeup is on and, and it's 10 o'clock in the morning. Oh, and we'll see how this looks after a couple of hours. Now it does look a little bit patchy on my nose, I don't know why, but my the rest of makeup just went smoothly on. No problems there, I do like the color. And uh, I will check in a couple of hours and see how it wears. See you soon. Hi everyone, now it's seven o'clock and it has been, I don't know, nine hours maybe since I did the foundation. Now let's take off my glasses and see how it looks. Right now we can see that my mascara did transformed. <laughs> Where is it not supposed to let just take that off? Well I do look shiny really and I and I don't really like that but the rest of my makeup is still on now it does look a little bit patchy on my nose but otherwise it looks very good skin on my nose is very dry I don't know if that's the reason why most of my foundation doesn't stay at all on my nose but I do like it I'll check in uh, soon again and see if it's getting worse or not. Hi everyone and welcome back. Now let's see it's 9.34 and 12 hours kind of 12 hours since I did the foundation and I look very very oily. I don't like it. I don't like to look this oily. Uh, very shiny <laughs> but the foundation stayed on my face uh, except the nose like I said before it's very patchy and of course when I had my glasses but that's not any set into my fine lines on my forehead let's zoom you in and see if you can take a closer look let's see if you can see on my forehead just set into my lines here very shiny very oily and here you can see that it's separated a little bit it's not even and it's patchy but if you look at my cheeks it looks okay it's kind of gone here too but here this area looks very good I still have my blush and highlighter on but I look very oily, oh my god. This is a good foundation. It's medium coverage. It lays on my face very nice. It's easy to blend. You can build it up, I probably can build it up. I haven't tried it. And I haven't tried it to apply it with a brush. Maybe then it gets more coverage. But I will definitely do that. I will use this foundation. The only thing I'm going to think about is to have a powder to just take away a little bit of oiliness and shine that I have on my face right now because I do look very shiny I think this foundation is better for someone with dry skin that doesn't really want that full coverage and doesn't like matte foundation because this one is anything but not matte so but I will give a thumbs up it did stay on my face some parts except on my nose but maybe I can carry it with a concealer or something and of course using a powder just to make it less shiny during the day not bad not bad if you haven't subscribed please do that and give a thumbs up if you want to see these kind of videos and thank you for watching see you soon bye